Pinyin, Wikipedia article audio. Hanyu Pinyin Romanization, often abbreviated to Pinyin, is the official romanization system for standard Chinese in mainland China and to some extent in Taiwan. It is often used to teach standard Mandarin Chinese, which is normally written using Chinese characters. The system includes four diacritics denoting tones. Pinyin without tone marks is used to spell Chinese names and words in languages written with the Latin alphabet, and also in certain computer input methods to enter Chinese characters. History of Romanization of Chinese Before 1949 The Pinyin system was developed in the 1950s by many linguists, including Zhou Yuguang, based on earlier form romanizations of Chinese. It was published by the Chinese government in 1958 and revised several times. The International Organization for Standardization adopted Pinyin as an international standard in 1982, followed by the United Nations in 1986. The system was adopted as the official standard in Taiwan in 2009, where it is used for international events rather than for educational or computer input purposes. But some cities, businesses and organizations, notably in the south of Taiwan, did not accept this, so it remains one of several rival romanization systems in use. The word Ha NYC means the spoken language of the Han people. Panaya N literally means spelled sounds. Waitia Euro Giles In 1605, the Jesuit missionary Matteo Ricci published Ziza Kiji in Beijing. This was the first book to use the Roman alphabet to write the Chinese language. Twenty years later, Another Jesuit in China, Nicholas Trigault, issued his XIRU Er Musei at Hangzhou. Neither book had much immediate impact on the way in which Chinese thought about their writing system, and the romanizations they described were intended more for Westerners than for the Chinese. Sin Wins one of the earliest Chinese thinkers to relate Western alphabets to Chinese was late Ming to early Qing dynasty scholar official, Fang Yizi. Yale Romanization The first late Qing reformer to propose that China adopt a system of spelling was Song Shu. A student of the great scholars Yu Yu and Zhang Taiyin, Song had been to Japan and observed the stunning effect of the kana syllabaries and Western learning there. This galvanized him into activity on a number of fronts, one of the most important being reform of the script. While Song did not himself actually create a system for spelling Sinitic languages, his discussion proved fertile and led to a proliferation of schemes for phonetic scripts. History of Hanyu Pinyin The Waitia Euro Giles system was produced by Thomas Waite in 1859, and further improved by Herbert Giles in the Chinesea Euro English Dictionary of 1892. It was popular and used in English language publications outside China until 1979. Usage in the early 1930s, Communist Party of China leaders trained in Moscow introduced a phonetic alphabet using Roman letters which had been developed in the Soviet Oriental Institute of Leningrad and was originally intended to improve literacy in the Russian Far East. This Sinwens or new writing was much more linguistically sophisticated than earlier alphabets, with the major exception that it did not indicate tones. In 1940, several thousand members attended a border region Sinwen's society convention. Mao Zedong and Zhu De, head of the army, both contributed their calligraphy for the masthead of the Sinwen's society's new journal. Outside the CCP, other prominent supporters included Sun Yat-sen's son, Sun Fo, 
CAIUNPI, the country's most prestigious educator, Tao Zingzi, a leading educational reformer, and Liu Xun. Over 30 journals soon appeared written in Sin Wen's, plus large numbers of translations, biographies, some contemporary Chinese literature, and a spectrum of textbooks. In 1940, the movement reached an apex when Mao's border region government declared that the Sinwens had the same legal status as traditional characters in government and public documents. Many educators and political leaders looked forward to the day when they would be universally accepted and completely replace characters. Opposition arose, however, because the system was less well adapted to writing regional languages, and therefore would require learning Mandarin. Sinwens fell into relative disuse during the following years. Overview Initials and Finals Initials Finals In 1943, the U.S. military engaged Yale University to develop a romanization of Mandarin Chinese for its pilots flying over China. The resulting system is very close to pinyin, but doesn't use English letters in unfamiliar ways, for example, pinyin X is written as SY. Medial semi-vowels are written with Y and W, and apical vowels with R or Z. Accent marks are used to indicate tone. Pinyin was created by Chinese linguists, including Zhou Yuguang, as part of a Chinese government project in the 1950s. Zhou is often called the father of Pinyin. Zhou worked as a banker in New York when he decided to return to China to help rebuild the country after the establishment of the People's Republic of China in 1949. He became an economics professor in Shanghai, and in 1955, when China's Ministry of Education created a committee for the reform of the Chinese written language, Premier Zhou Enlai assigned Zhou Yuguang the task of developing a new romanization system, despite the fact that he was not a professional linguist. Hanyu Pinyin was based on several existing systems, Guayu Romatsi of 1928, Lading Swa Sinwens of 1931, and the diacritic markings from Zuyin. I'm not the father of Pinyin, Zhou said years later. I'm the son of Pinyin. It's a long tradition from the later years of the Qing dynasty down to today. But we restudied the problem and revisited it and made it more perfect. A draft was published on February 12, 1956. The first edition of Hanyu Pinyin was approved and adopted at the fifth session of the First National People's Congress on February 11. 1958. It was then introduced to primary schools as a way to teach standard Chinese pronunciation and used to improve the literacy rate among adults. Beginning in the early 1980s, Western publications addressing mainland China began using the Hanyu Pinyin romanization system instead of earlier romanization systems. This change followed the normalization of diplomatic relations between the United States and the PRC in 1979. In 2001, the PRC government issued the National Common Language Law, providing a legal basis for applying pinyin. The current specification of the orthographic rules is laid down in the National Standard GB-T16159-2012. Pinyin superseded older romanization systems such as Wadia Eurogiles and Postal Romanization, and replaced Zuyin as the method of Chinese phonetic instruction in mainland China. The ISO adopted Pinyin as the standard romanization for modern Chinese in 1982, the United Nations followed suit in 1986. It has also been accepted by the Government of Singapore, the United States Library of Congress, 
the American Library Association, and many other international institutions. The spelling of Chinese geographical or personal names in pinyin has become the most common way to transcribe them in English. Pinyin has also become the dominant method for entering Chinese text into computers in mainland China, in contrast to Taiwan where Bapomofo is most commonly used. Families outside of Taiwan who speak Mandarin as a mother tongue use pinyin to help children associate characters with spoken words which they already know. Chinese families outside of Taiwan who speak some other language as their mother tongue use the system to teach children Mandarin pronunciation when they learn vocabulary in elementary school. Since 1958, Pinyin has been actively used in adult education as well, making it easier for formerly illiterate people to continue with self-study after a short period of Pinyin literacy instruction. Syllables starting with U are written as W in place of U standalone U is written as Wu, syllables starting with I are written as Y in place of I. Standalone I is written as Yi. Syllables starting with a one-fourth are written as U in place of a one-fourth. A one-fourth is written as U when there is no ambiguity, but written as a one-fourth when there are corresponding U syllables. In such situations where there are corresponding U syllables, it is often replaced with V on a computer, making it easier to type on a standard keyboard, when preceded by a consonant, IOU. Uei, and yin are simplified as iu, ui, and un, as in zuyin, what are actually pronounced as buo, pyo, muo, and fuo are given a separate representation, bo, po, mo, and fo, the apostrophe is used before a syllable starting with a vowel in a multiple syllable word when the syllable does not start the word, unless the syllable immediately follows a hyphen or other dash. This is done to remove ambiguity that could arise, as in Xi'an, which consists of the two syllables 11 and, compared to such words as Xian, A alone is written as A, elsewhere as E. Schwa is always written as E, ZH, CH, and SH can be abbreviated as A degree, A per thousand, and A. However, the shorthands are rarely used due to difficulty of entering them on computers, and are confined mainly to Esperanto keyboard layouts. Early drafts and some published material used diacritic hooks below instead, A, E dot, NG has the uncommon shorthand of A dot, early drafts also contain the letter EN or N, borrowed from the Cyrillic script, in place of later J. The letter V is unused, despite a conscious effort to distribute letters more evenly than in Western languages. However, sometimes, for ease of typing into a computer, the V is used to replace a a one-fourth. Pinyin has become a tool for many foreigners to learn Mandarin pronunciation, and is used to explain both the grammar and spoken Mandarin coupled with Chinese characters. Books containing both Chinese characters and pinyin are often used by foreign learners of Chinese. Pinyin's role in teaching pronunciation to foreigners and children is similar in some respects to furigana based books in Japanese or fully vocalized texts in Arabic. The tone marking diacritics are commonly omitted in popular news stories and even in scholarly works. This results in some degree of ambiguity as to which words are being represented. When a foreign writing system with one set of coding slash decoding system is taken to write a language, certain compromises may have to be made. The result is that the decoding systems used in some foreign languages will enable non-native speakers to produce sounds more closely resembling the target language than will the coding-slash-decoding system used by other foreign languages. 
native speakers of English will decode pinyin spellings to fairly close approximations of Mandarin except in the case of certain speech sounds that are not ordinarily produced by most native speakers of English. J, Q, X, Z, C, S, Z, H, C, H, S, H, and R exhibiting the greatest discrepancies. In this system, the correspondence between the Roman letter and the sound is sometimes idiosyncratic, though not necessarily more so than the way the Latin script is employed in other languages. For example, the aspiration distinction between B, D, G, and P, T, K is similar to that of English, but not to that of French. Letters Z and C also have that distinction, pronounced as end. From S, Z, C come the digraphs SH, ZH, CH by analogy with English SH, CH. Although this introduces the novel combination ZH, it is internally consistent in how the two series are related, and reminds the trained reader that many Chinese pronounce SH, ZH, CH as S, Z, C. In the X, J, Q series, the pinyin use of X is similar to its use in Portuguese, Galician, Catalan, Basque, and Maltese, and the pinyin Q is akin to its value in Albanian. Both pinyin and Albanian pronunciations may sound similar to the CH to the untrained ear. Pinyin vowels are pronounced in a similar way to vowels in Romance languages. The pronunciation and spelling of Chinese words are generally given in terms of initials and finals, which represent the segmental phonemic portion of the language, rather than letter by letter. Initials are initial consonants, while finals are all possible combinations of medials, the nucleus vowel, and coda. Unlike European languages, Clusters of letters A euro initials and finals A euro and not consonant and vowel letters, form the fundamental elements in pinyin. Every Mandarin syllable can be spelled with exactly one initial followed by one final, except for the special syllable ER or when a trailing R is considered part of a syllable. The latter case, though a common practice in some sub-dialects, is rarely used in official publications. One exception is the city Harbin, whose name comes from the Manchu language. Even though most initials contain a consonant, finals are not always simple vowels, especially in compound finals, i.e. when a medial is placed in front of the final. For example, the medials and are pronounced with such tight openings at the beginning of a final that some native Chinese speakers pronounce ya as slash j a slash and w a copyright i as slash w a i slash or slash wa i slash. Often these medials are treated as separate from the finals rather than as part of them. This convention is followed in the chart of finals below. In each cell below, the bold letters indicate pinyin, and the brackets enclose the symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet. One Y is pronounced before U, two the letters W and Y are not included in the table of initials in the official pinyin system. They are an orthographic convention for the medials I, U and A one-fourth when no initial is present. When I, U, or a one-fourth are finals and no initial is present, they are spelled yi, wu, and yu, respectively. The conventional order, derived from the Zuyin system, is In each cell below, the first line indicates IPA, the second indicates pinyin for a standalone form, and the third indicates pinyin for a combination with an initial. Other than finals modified by an R, which are omitted, the following is an exhaustive table of all possible finals. 1. The only syllable final consonants in standard Chinese are N and NG, and R, which is attached as a grammatical suffix. 
A Chinese syllable ending with any other consonant either is from a non-Mandarin language, or indicates the use of a non-Pinyin romanization system. One is written er. For other finals formed by the suffix r, Pinyin does not use special orthography, one simply appends r to the final that it is added to, without regard for any sound changes that may take place along the way. For information on sound changes related to final R, please see Erhua number rules, 2A 1 fourth is written as U after J, Q, or X, 3 UO is written as O after B, P, M, F, or W. Technically, I, U, a one-fourth without a following vowel are finals, not medials, and therefore take the tone marks, but they are more concisely displayed as above. In addition, A and syllabic nasals M, N, NG are used as interjections. Rules given in terms of English pronunciation Most rules given here in terms of English pronunciation are approximations, as several of these sounds do not correspond directly to sounds in English. Y and W are equivalent to the semi-vowel medials I, U, and A one-fourth. They are spelled differently when there is no initial consonant in order to mark a new syllable, Fangwan is Fangguan, while Fangguan is Fangguan. With this convention, an apostrophe only needs to be used to mark an initial A, E, or O, Zian versus Xian. In addition, Y and W are added to fully vocalic I, U, and A one-fourth when these occur without an initial consonant, so that they are written Yi, Wu, and Yu. Some Mandarin speakers do pronounce a OR sound at the beginning of such words a euro that is, Yi or, Wu or, you or a euro so this is an intuitive convention. See below for a few finals which are abbreviated after a consonant plus w slash u or y slash i medial, when a c and un, way a c and ui, when a c and ong, and u a c and i u. The apostrophe is used before a syllable starting with a vowel in a multiple syllable word when the syllable does not start the word unless the syllable immediately follows a hyphen or other dash. This is done to remove ambiguity that could arise, as in Xian, which consists of the two syllables 11 and, compared to such words as Xian. The following is a list of finals in standard Chinese, excepting most of those ending with R. To find a given final. Pronunciation of initials. Pronunciation of finals Orthography Dummett's color scheme was one of the first to be used. It is tone 1, red, tone 2, orange, tone 3, green, tone 4, blue, and neutral tone, black. The Unimelb color scheme is tone 1, blue, tone 2, green, tone 3, Purple, tone 4, red, neutral tone, gray. The Hanping color scheme is tone 1, blue, tone 2, green, tone 3, orange, tone 4, red, neutral tone, gray. The Placo color scheme is tone 1, red, tone 2, green, tone 3, blue, tone 4, purple. Neutral tone, gray. The Thomas color scheme is tone 1, green, tone 2, blue, tone 3, red, tone 4, black, neutral tone, gray. Letters Words, capitalization, initialisms, and punctuation. Tones Pinyin differs from other romanizations in several aspects, such as the following. Numerals in place of tone marks. 
Most of the above are used to avoid ambiguity when writing words of more than one syllable in pinyin. For example, yinian is written as vinian because it is not clear which syllables make up yinian, 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 and unian are all possible combinations whereas vinian is unambiguous because we, naya, etc. do not exist in pinyin. See the Pinyin Table article for a summary of possible Pinyin syllables. Although Chinese characters represent single syllables, Mandarin Chinese is a polysyllabic language. Spacing in Pinyin is based on whole words, not single syllables. However, there are often ambiguities in partitioning a word. The basic rules of the Chinese phonetic alphabet orthography were put into effect in 1988 by the National Educational Commission and the National Language Commission. These rules became a QABIAO standard in 1996 and were updated in 2012. Rules for Placing the Tone Mark The Pinyin system also uses diacritics to mark the four tones of Mandarin. The diacritic is placed over the letter that represents the syllable nucleus, unless that letter is missing. Many books printed in China use a mix of fonts, with vowels and tone marks rendered in a different font from the surrounding text, tending to give such pinyin texts a typographically ungainly appearance. This style, most likely rooted in early technical limitations, has led many to believe that Pinyin's rules call for this practice and also for the use of a Latin alpha rather than the standard style of the letter found in most fonts. The official rules of Hanya Pinyin, however, specify no such practice. These tone marks normally are only used in Mandarin textbooks or in foreign learning texts, but they are essential for correct pronunciation of Mandarin syllables as exemplified by the following classic example of five characters whose pronunciations differ only in their tones. Phonological Intuition Traditional Characters A one-half E degree E C one-half A Using Tone Colors Simplified Characters A E degree E Copyright E A Third tone exceptions. The words are mother, hemp, horse, scold, and a question particle, respectively. Before the advent of computers, many typewriter fonts did not contain vowels with macron or caron diacritics. Tones were thus represented by placing a tone number at the end of individual syllables. For example, Ta superscript 3 ng is written tong2. The number used for each tone is as the order listed above, except the neutral tone, which is either not numbered, or given the number 0 or 5, e.g. ma 54 a slash a, an interrogative marker. The a 1 fourth sound. Briefly, the tone mark should always be placed by the order a euro a, o, E, I, U, A one fourth, with the only exception being I U, where the tone mark is placed on the U instead. Pinyin tone marks appear primarily above the nucleus of the syllable, for example as in qua I, where K is the initial, U the medial, A the nucleus, and I the coda. The exception is syllabic nasals like slash M slash where the nucleus of the syllable is a consonant, the diacritic will be carried by a written dummy vowel. When the nucleus is slash e trademark slash, and there is both a medial and a coda, the nucleus may be dropped from writing. In this case, when the coda is a consonant n or ng, the only vowel left is the medial i, u, or a one-fourth, and so this takes the diacritic. However, when the coda is a vowel, it is the coda rather than the medial which takes the diacritic in the absence of a written nucleus. 
This occurs with syllables ending in ui and in iu that is, in the absence of a written nucleus the finals have priority for receiving the tone marker, as long as they are vowels, if not, the medial takes the diacritic. An algorithm to find the correct vowel letter is as follows. Pinyin in Taiwan Worded differently Comparison with other orthographies If the tone is written over an I, the tittle above the I is omitted, as in Yi. The placement of the tone marker, when more than one of the written letters A, E, I, O, and U appears, can also be inferred from the nature of the vowel sound in the medial and final. The rule is that the tone marker goes on the spelled vowel that is not a semi-vowel. The exception is that, for triphthongs that are spelled with only two vowel letters, both of which are the semi-vowels, the tone marker goes on the second spelled vowel. Comparison Charts Specifically, if the spelling of a diphthong begins with I or U, which here serves as a near semi-vowel, this letter does not take the tone marker. Likewise, if the spelling of a diphthong ends with O or U representing a near semi-vowel, this letter does not receive a tone marker. In a triphthong spelled with three of A, E, I, O, and U, the first and third letters coincide with near semi-vowels and hence do not receive the tone marker. But if no letter is written to represent a triphthong's middle sound, then the tone marker goes on the final vowel letter. In addition to tone number and mark, tone color has been suggested as a visual aid for learning. Although there are no formal standards, there are a number of different color schemes in use. In spoken Chinese, the third tone is often pronounced as a half third tone in which the pitch does not rise. Additionally, when two third tones appear consecutively, such as in a one-half a yen one-half, the first syllable is pronounced with the second tone. In pinyin, words like hello are still written with two third tones. An umlaut is placed over the letter U when it occurs after the initials L and N in order to represent the sound. This is necessary in order to distinguish the front high-rounded vowel in LA one-fourth from the back high-rounded vowel in LU. Tonal markers are added on top of the umlaut, as in LC. However, the A one-fourth is not used in the other contexts where it could represent a front high-rounded vowel, namely after the letters J, Q, X, and Y. For example, the sound of the word e plus or minus one fourth slash e is transcribed in pinyin simply as ye degree, not as eek. This practice is opposed to Wadia Euro Giles, which always uses a one fourth, and Tong Yang pinyin, which always uses u. Whereas Wadia Euro Giles needs to use the umlaut to distinguish between cha one fourth and chu, this ambiguity cannot arise with pinyin so the more convenient form Ju is used instead of JA one-fourth. Genuine ambiguities only happen with NU slash NA one-fourth and LU slash LA one-fourth, which are then distinguished by an umlaut. Many fonts or output methods do not support an umlaut for A one-fourth or cannot place tone marks on top of A one-fourth. Likewise, Using a one-fourth in input methods is difficult because it is not present as a simple key on many keyboard layouts. For these reasons V is sometimes used instead by convention. For example, it is common for cell phones to use V instead of a one-fourth. Additionally, some stores in China use V instead of a one-fourth in the transliteration of their names. The drawback is that there are no tone marks for the letter V. This also presents a problem in transcribing names for use on passports, affecting people with names that consist of the sound LA one-fourth or NA one-fourth, 
particularly people with the surname A, a fairly common surname, particularly compared to the surname E trademark, E superscript 2, A. Sent and E. Previously, the practice varied among different passport issuing offices, with some transcribing as LV and NV while others used LU and NU. On July 10, 2012, the Ministry of Public Security standardized the practice to use LIU and NYU in passports. Although NA 1 E written as NU, and LA 1 E written as LU are not ambiguous, NU or LU are not correct according to the rules, NA 1 E and LA 1 E should be used instead. However, some Chinese input methods support both NVE slash LVE and NU slash LU. Taiwan adopted Tongyang Pinyin, a modification of Hanya Pinyin, as the official romanization system on the national level between October 2002 and January 2009, when it switched to Hanya Pinyin. Tongyang Pinyin, a variant of Pinyin developed in Taiwan, was designed to Romanize languages and dialects spoken on the island in addition to Mandarin Chinese. The Kuomintang party resisted its adoption, preferring the Hanya Pinyin system used in mainland China and in general use internationally. Romanization preferences quickly became associated with issues of national identity. Preferences split along party lines. The KMT and its affiliated parties in the Pan Blue Coalition supported the use of Hanya Pinyin while the Democratic Progressive Party and its affiliated parties in the Pan Green Coalition favored the use of Tongyang Pinyin. Tongyang Pinyin was made the official system in an administrative order that allowed its adoption by local governments to be voluntary. A few localities with governments controlled by the KMT, most notably Taipei, Xinchu, and Kinmen County, overrode the order and converted to Hanya Pinyin before the January 1, 2009 national level switch, though with a slightly different capitalization convention than mainland China. Most areas of Taiwan adopted Tongyang Pinyin, consistent with the national policy. After 2009 switch, Many street signs in Taiwan today still display Tongyang Pinyin but some, especially in northern Taiwan, display Hanya Pinyin. It is still not unusual to see spellings on street signs and buildings derived from the older Wadia Euro Giles, MPS2 and other systems. The adoption of Hanya Pinyin as the official romanization system in Taiwan does not preclude the official retention of earlier spellings. International familiarity has led to the retention of the spelling Taipei and even to its continuation in the name of New Taipei, a municipality created in 2010. Personal names on Taiwanese passports honor the choices of Taiwanese citizens who often prefer the Wadia Euro Giles romanization of their personal names, though the official online conversion tool lists Pinyin before other systems. Transition to Hanya Pinyin in official use is also necessarily gradual. Universities and other government entities retain earlier spellings in long-established names and budget restraints preclude widespread replacement of signage and stationery in every area. Primary education in Taiwan continues to teach pronunciation using Zuyin. Computer Input Systems Pinyin is now used by foreign students learning Chinese as a second language. Other Languages Pinyin assigns some Latin letters sound values which are quite different from that of most languages. This has drawn some criticism as it may lead to confusion when uninformed speakers apply either native or English assumed pronunciations to words. However, this problem is not limited only to Pinyin, since many languages that use the Latin alphabet natively also assign different values to the same letters. 
A recent study on Chinese writing and literacy concluded, by and large, Pinyin represents the Chinese sounds better than the Wadia Euro Giles system, and does so with fewer extra marks. Because Pinyin is purely a representation of the sounds of Mandarin, it completely lacks the semantic cues and contexts inherent in Chinese characters. Pinyin is also unsuitable for transcribing some Chinese spoken languages other than Mandarin, languages which by contrast have traditionally been written with Han characters allowing for written communication which, by its unified semantophonetic orthography, could theoretically be readable in any of the various vernaculars of Chinese where a phonetic script would have only localized utility. Simple computer systems, able to display only 7-bit ASCII text, long provided a convincing argument for using pinyin instead of Chinese characters. Today, however, most computer systems are able to display characters from Chinese and many other writing systems as well, and have them entered with a Latin keyboard using an input method editor. Alternatively, some PDAs, tablet computers, and digitizing tablets allow users to input characters graphically by writing with a stylus, with concurrent online handwriting recognition. Pinyin-like systems have been devised for other variants of Chinese. Guangdong Romanization is a set of romanizations devised by the government of Guangdong Province for Cantonese, Teoshu, Hakka, and Hainan Eset. All of these are designed to use Latin letters in a similar way to Pinyin. In addition, in accordance to the regulation of phonetic transcription in Hanyu Pinyin letters of place names in minority nationality languages promulgated in 1976, place names in non-Han languages like Mongolian, Uyghur, and Tibetan are also officially transcribed using Pinyin in a system adopted by the State Administration of Surveying and Mapping and Geographical Names Committee known as SASM-GNC Romanization. The pinyin letters are used to approximate the non-Han language in question as closely as possible. This results in spellings that are different from both the customary spelling of the place name, and the pinyin spelling of the name in Chinese. Tongyang pinyin was developed in Taiwan for use in rendering not only Mandarin Chinese, but other languages and dialects spoken on the island such as Taiwanese. Hakka, and Aboriginal languages.